So most of you have seen this little farm tank I've got here. I've got three different kinds of crypts in it. In the middle, the purple leaf for the Crypt 1 EI. Uh, and then I guess they're both Crypt 1 EI, but one's a purple variant. And then in the back of the tank, I've got these Crypt Spiralis. So these have been in little pots since about mid-September. And these leaves were all a three or four inches long when I got them. But look at this now. They're well over a foot. They've been growing in these little 1.9 inch terracotta pots. I started out with a little short layer of uh, fluval stratum and then just a light dusting of uh, API root tabs. And then I anchored them with regular sand. And I was just using the, uh, I think it was the play sand from a local home center. So this one has two really nice shoots on it. And what I'm gonna do is put a couple of them in here towards the background. This is really a neat one. It's got a, a really neat kind of a crinkled leaf to it. I really like the look of it. So I'm gonna unpot it and I'll do that here. And you can see the roots coming out the bottom of the pot. So this thing's just been going nuts. And I've got about a dozen like that. Well, let's see here, see if I can get it out one-handed without destroying, there it goes. Look at that, really well really well rooted. And what I've learned about crypts, they will send out runners along the roots as well. So I'm not gonna mess with this root ball too much. Uh, I'm just gonna push some of the substrate around. And just like I was planting a plant in the ground and set this thing in back there. So bear with me. Okay, it's gonna go back in the corner here. And get the Cory out of the way. These freaking. So I've got a pretty deep substrate. So what I should probably be doing is working that in. So let's give it a try here. A lot of the sand and stuff falling off it. I wanna get it buried about as deeply as it was in the pot and cover that crown. And once this settles out, we'll be able to see better how it looks. But I think that's gonna be fine back there. So I think I'm gonna do a couple more Maybe maybe along the back here. I've got a big old uh, Anubius that was on a chunk of rock that I had set on top of this log, and, and it fell off. I'm sure the uh, fish, in all their frolicking, knocked it off. We'll put it back up here, and I'll put a couple more of those uh, crypts along the back. While there's something else going back here, I'm not sure what it is. Also on a rock. Um, a java fern, look at that. So we'll stick that one maybe right here for right now, just sort of wedge it in, All right? That should be good. And then uh, we'll throw a couple more of those Crips Spiralis along the back here. I needed a little bit of background here. This tank, it's been through some transitions plant-wise. Um, there's some algae bloom going on. You see all the sand that dropped out on top of this crypt. This is one of the Crypt Wenty Eyes, the purple variant from, uh, I've, ha I've had these for quite a while now. There's another Java Fern on a rock here. Got a lot of those, I just start them this way. This one's coming off the rock. It needs to be re-glued. I use super glue gel to stick them down to the rocks and eventually it fails after time and probably didn't put enough of the super glue gel on it, so one of my big plecos. Uh, but anyway, it's starting to settle out and kind of see it. Let's see if we can get it back there. So it's it should root in nicely. And all these big green roots here that you see floating around are from this pothos hanging up back here. Just sucking nutrients out of the tank. So there you go, that's kind of uh, how that's going. So the farm tank is going to pay off. That's going to that's going to be nice. And I got an extra little pot that I can split up one of those other crypts that's divided and put it back in, or find something else to put in there. All right. So that's kind of the way it goes. And I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving weekend. This is Saturday afternoon right now. So Garage Aquatics 2023. Uh, like, share, follow, all that good stuff. Thanks.